Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're standing in front of a mandarin orange in the city of Walnut Creek, California. We're here in what's considered one of the Bay Area cities. We're about 20 minutes east of Berkeley and about 45 minutes to an hour east of San Francisco. And this here is a mandarin orange tree that's done well. We planted it about 10 years ago and it's actually loaded with fruits. If you come and zoom in over here, you'll actually see all of the fruit that are actually on this tree as characterized by these little fruit. And here we are in the month of June. You can see um, one little fruit over here. If we take a look up a little higher, you might be able to see a couple more. Um, I know there's certain areas on this tree where there's huge clusters. Actually, if you come back down again, you'll see here is about another, um, a two, two more fruit over here, one and two, and more on the tips. So there's fruit all over this, probably thousands of fruit right now. We don't expect all of them to hold on, but over the next few months, it'll actually select the, the, the best varieties, which are the ones that usually cross-pollinated with the other citrus varieties to create um, a, better, a better yield um, and better quality fruit. And we've talked about cross-pollination in other videos. Let me actually show you what we're now gonna do at the base of the tree. So if you take a look over here, I've already started painting and then I'm like, I wanna share this with um, my viewers over here. If you take a look, the base of the tree is actually the rootstock. And I was actually grafted for disease resistance, for drought resistance, for frost resistance, for all the things that are gonna make this tree a success growing up here in the Bay Area, which is a 9B growing zone, meaning the nighttime low temperatures between December and March can be anywhere from 25 to 30 degrees, which is quite cold for citrus. So having a good rootstock and actually picking up a good variety from your nursery is important to make sure that they've actually got it grooved on a root that'll actually result in healthy and strong trees year after year. So this tree is about 10 years old and you can see um, the difference between the rootstock, which is more of a lighter brown and the actual um, tr variety of fruit that we're actually wanting that actually has a darker brown um, root, um, darker brown bark. If you take a look over here, we've actually, they've actually pruned these branches in the past. Some of these have actually got these little nubs which should have actually been pruned a little bit closer to the tree. So I'm actually gonna do that um, real quickly. So what I'm gonna do over here is actually remove this knob, which will never, or actually maybe it'll heal, but it's gonna take a lot longer than if we actually pruned it to be more flush with the tree trunk. So, but as a nub, it's actually gonna always exist and it's gonna be an entryway point for wood destroying organisms such as termites and beetles to get into the living tissues of the tree. But by pruning it here, a little closer to the tree, as the plant expands year after year, This will ultimately seal and close itself up and eventually go in just as this is over here. You can see that it's starting to callus and, and create a seal um, around it. Here's another example as well, right here. This was another pruned branch in the past. Another year or two, this will be gone. It'll be buried underneath the tree trunk. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint and it reads a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents. The other important thing to consider about this product is this tree is actually in a tree form. There's at least two to three feet of tree trunk which are now exposed to the sun throughout the day. And this here is gonna actually keep the plant nice and cool during the um, hot summer days. It's also gonna actually protect the tree from sun scald which is an issue that happens, which is an issue that happens in the winter where the daytime temperatures may go up a little bit too high, causing the, causing the tree sap to actually warm up and, and, and start flowing in the tree. And when the nighttime low temperatures drop again at night, the tree, actually, the tree trunk will actually crack. And when the tree trunk cracks, that's an entryway for wood destroying organisms to get in there, such as the beetles and termites. And actually it can shorten the life of the tree. So this here is gonna protect from both sunburn, sun scald, and it also um, will protect from insects from getting into the tree trunk. And also, if there's any rodents that actually decide to chew on this, it actually has some oils that'll actually repel. And it's actually so distasteful to rodents that they should actually um, be repelled by the taste. So that's it. So you can see, pretty much coated it. We pretty much want to do anything that would be exposed um, to the sun. And this actually is, is low enough that it will protect against the rodents, which would be more so within the first foot or two of the tree. Conclusion. So I hope you found this video helpful. If sure, be sure to like it. And most importantly, subscribe down below. By subscribing, you'll be able to watch all of our new YouTube videos that we put out on average once a month. 
and be sure to check out our YouTube video library um, where we've got dozens of other informative educational videos discussing organic ideas and principles to use in your own gardens at home. I hope you've enjoyed this and happy gardening.